I think it's a very exciting event where we are combining the British Orthopaedic Association meeting with EFORT, with a combined meeting in London, and I look forward to welcoming surgeons from all over Europe and the rest of the world to a meeting where we hope we'll have up to 7,000 delegates to share experiences, look at new technologies, and have a very good social interaction. The whole essence of the EFORT and BOA combined meeting this year is all about patient safety. I see a huge amount arising from the interaction about registries and the orthopaedic community leads the rest of the world in these. We hope that the um, registries will provide information for implants that will allow us to make sure that the orthopaedic surgeons of the future use implants that will provide the best outcomes for patients both in function and long-term longevity. I welcome this combined meeting between the BOA and EFORT uh, because we've all got similar problems. We've got an ageing population, we've all got financial austerity and it's unlikely that our governments will spend more on healthcare. So what we have to do is we have to use our pounds or our euros most effectively to make sure we provide timely effective care for the population as it ages. That's our professional responsibility, so we're going to have to do things differently, and this meeting is a, is a way forward for us to explore how we can do this going forward. The idea of the meeting is to get a, a consensus panel from a group who are going to meet to come up with solutions that we can take forward and hopefully have an international meeting in a 12 to 18 months' time that is going to try and sort out this problem and, and chart a way forward. In 2013, Revalidation was brought into the UK, which means that I, as a surgeon, and all my colleagues who practice medicine or surgery, have to revalidate every five years. This means we have to have a process where we show evidence to the General Medical Council that regulate us that we are fit to practice and continue to practice for the next five years. As part of that, the Bureau has, has, has developed a revalidation cycle, and that is both in elective orthopaedics and trauma. The trauma symposium that we're having at EFORT is part of the trauma revalidation cycle, which takes place each year over five years, allowing surgeons to revalidate. As far as I'm aware, in Europe, we're the only country with a reappraisal and revalidation cycle, but I suspect Europe will follow. Mm -hmm.